That's the thing with Zionism. It's contradictory. The whole thing doesn't make sense. Now, how did it work? The way it worked is through propaganda. The way it worked is through tremendous propaganda. They insist that anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism. Netanyahu wrote in his book, and Avigdor Lieberman has an article on Israel's own website. You know, we have .gov. They also have the same type of thing. Israel's Minister of Foreign, Ministry of Foreign Affairs website. And um, Danny Ayalon said it, and even Ben Shapiro, no relation to me, thank God, yeah. uh, also said it. He's, they said the following. Uh, if you, you want to know what Zionism is in a nutshell, by the way, this is a very good formulation. They said anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism, meaning that if you believe Israel should not exist, you're an anti-Semite, and here's why. Japan is to the Japanese, but France is to the French, what Israel is to the, finish that uh, equation. It should be what Israel is to the Israelis. Right, but it's not. But, but it, with, that's Jews. without Zionism. With Zionism, France is to the French, what Japan is to the Japanese, what Israel is to the Jews. Now, and just as you can't say, I want, I'm in favor of having a Japanese people, but I don't want Japan to exist. You can't say that. I, I'm in favor, favor of having, having a French identity in the people without France. So too, you cannot say, I'm in favor of having Jewish identity without Israel. That's Zionism. That's what they uh, want you to say. That's yes. what they want you to think. Yeah. That's what they want you to think. And that's why anti-Zionism to them is anti-Semitism. And it's the conflation of Jews and Zionism. So we can all agree. I think we have enough people that agree. I don't have to convince anybody that Judaism is not Zionism. And conflating the two is anti-Semitic. There are two types of people that conflate Jews with Zionists. Zionists conflate Judaism with Zionism. Anti-Semites do it in order to delegitimize Judaism by claiming that it's Zionism, and Zionists do it in order to legitimize Zionism by claiming it's Judaism. Now, we want to decouple that. That's the way to get rid of Zionism. Very simple. Get Decouple that. But here's a conversation. First for the Palestinians. Yeah, and I've had this conversation. Okay, Mr. Pal Mr. Palestinian, you, you agree that you're your enemy over here is not the Jews, it's Israel, correct? 100%. And the Jews have nothing to do with this. Here's a question, if so, why are Palestinians so happy when they find Jewish allies, JVP, Jewish Orthodox Jews, let them find Israeli allies? If France is having a, uh, a war with Italy and there are Italian people on France's side, that's meaningful for France. Every war, it works that way. Here, if the issue is if there's a war between Israel and the Palestinians, then the Jews, Jewish voice for peace doesn't make any sense. If there were Israeli voice for peace, that would. Right. Saying, but we don't, but they don't have, they don't have that there. So oh, what the other Jews are trying to say is you don't get to speak for all of us. And if well, you want to do that, fine. But we're going to say we're Jews and we say never again for Palestinians either. Right. So here's, here's the problem with that. When uh, Russia bombs Ukraine or Ukraine bombs Russia, the no, the Jews aren't saying that you don't get to speak for us. Meaning, if you go and you say, okay, Israel doesn't get to speak for us, we're saying never again for Palestinians too. Does that mean that Israel is like Ukraine to the Jews? It's like China? Or does it mean that we don't want, we don't like this particular thing you're doing in our name? Does Israel have standing to speak in the name of the Jews, just this thing is bad? Or Israel is like China to the Jews? It's a different country, it's a different people. You see, right, it would be like China, if China were founded on Jewish trauma. No, but and, Israel is not founded no, on Jewish trauma. if they said that they were. If, if they is, said that they were. As right, opposed to, if, it was if, founded on colonialism, right, obviously. If, it, it was founded on Zionism. And if the Chinese would say they okay. really represent the Jews, you think that people would be fighting? No, uh, no they wouldn't. If no Russia one would, well, said no they one would believe them. But no, but right. So the answer is... Not to say, look, when I was a kid, people were fighting against the Vietnam War, Americans uh, protesting against it, right? Yeah. That doesn't mean that they believed America is not their country. That means on the contrary, because America is my country, right. therefore I feel a responsibility. Now, here's a question for the leftist Jews. Let's say there would be a two-state solution and everybody would be happy. Palestinians would be happy and the Zionists would be happy. Israel would have 5% of the land and the Palestinians would have 95%. The, Pal the Zionists would have a little piece in the Negev, right? Question, okay. is the JVP happy? Sure, why not? That's the, here, There's the problem. Even if the Palestinians are not 
in the line of fire. Zionism is the same Zionism. It still claims to represent the Jews. It's still the same ideology. So these people are not anti-Zionist. They are, they are just pro-Palestinian. They don't like that the Zionists are harming Palestinians. But if the Zionists would not harm Palestinians, they would be okay with Israel if the Palestinians are okay with Israel. Well, maybe it's a maybe it's a triage. I mean, I don't know what they would say to that, but maybe certainly right. you can think that uh, well, the biggest priority right now is uh, to stop doing this in our name. Agreed. Yeah. So here's the answer. If the biggest priority is to stop doing this in our name, the Zionists love when there are left-wing Jewish organizations doing this because they tell people as part of their propaganda that these left-wing Jews, they agree that Israel is uh, a Jewish state, the Jewish state. They're just protesting against it in the same way that Americans protested against the war America. in Vietnam. What so America we is, have yeah. to get rid of that. What we need to do is we need to say, look, we have nothing to do with this. We Israel has no standing to speak in the name of the Jews. And this that they are doing things in the name of the Jews is just insanity. It's just like, I don't know, like I think of the black Hebrews speaking in the name of the Jews. They got into a fight with the Palestinians. Nobody's going to say, OK, don't do it in our name. We Jews have to completely sever themselves from Israel, from Zionism in such a way to say, look, if the Palestinians want allies, there are plenty of Israeli Americans to have as allies, which would recalibrate the entire picture. Israel versus Palestinians, Jews are not involved. If there's an Israeli that's not Jewish, Katie, Hamas killed non-Jews also at the music festival. Right. Right. Thai, Thai workers, right? Thai, absolutely. And there was even a Muslim woman with the headscarf that they, they are after Israelis. That's what they're after. They're out there to-, to, to I'm sure to, they didn't want to kill the, the Thai people, but- is so that you're telling me that they were after Jews or they're after Israelis? Israelis. I doubt that they're angry at Thai people. If people are saying they're anti Semites, they hate Jews, it has nothing to do with Israel. The answer needs to be no, they hate Israelis, it has nothing right. to do with the Jews. Or, but, but is that true or is that not true? Right. Part this of the is problem important... is Israel has conflated it. So even the, when they say the Jews, they mean Israelis. That's absolutely true. So the Jews, but if a Palestinian knows, the difference between Jews and Israelis. Who does he think his enemy is? Israeli. Exactly. So if their enemies are Israelis, and if they know the difference, and if their their enemies are Israelis, and even if it's Jews, it's because they think Jews are Israelis. It should be our job to decouple the two, to tell everybody Jews are not Israelis. We have nothing to do with this. Israeli Americans, if they want to side with the Palestinians, those are meaningful allies. But Jews, it's one step forward and two steps back because it reinforces the perception that it's Jews, just like Americans right. fought against the Vietnam War, Jews are fighting against the Israeli war. We I understand what you're saying, that. but there's a calculation, like mm -hmm. there is a calculation that needs to be made because mm -hmm. the question is, which is more important to the extent that I think that people are more open to jews criticizing israel now that's problematic but it's more still open true. than what more open the, to jews more than open israelis to, no i'm talking about americans how about israeli americans there are plenty of israeli americans okay there. okay but they're why, not why? enough of i'm if if you convince me that yeah. if i stop talking about israel and palestine that i'd be able to find like replacements for all the jews who were talking about israel palestine then yeah but but barring that to the extent that I think it is making a difference. In other words, for me, what's more important is helping Palestinians. That's more important to me than... In the long run, in the long run, Katie, the help for the Palestinians and for the Israelis and for everybody in the world is to separate Jews from Zionists, right? That's the whole problem over here. But in the meantime, if we just jump ship, if we just stopped, then it's the not... only people speaking in the name of Jews would what about be Americans? Israel. What about Americans? No, we we should so say we, we should say we should say we should say Israel cannot speak in the name of Jews. Right. They have no standing, and their talking is like China, right? If somebody asks me, they've done it so many times. Whose side are you on, Israel or the Palestinians? I said, Why are you asking me? Because I'm Jewish. I'm insulted. Maybe they're asking you because you talk a lot about Zionism. But that's not what, if, if they ask me that, that's fine. But if they come over to me in the street and they come over to me, a guy right. did in Midtown Manhattan with a cell phone, he didn't speak English, he was using Google Translate. And he he, he tells me, uh, uh, 
encouragement for your country. And I tell him, my country, you mean America? You see, but this is what happens. I say that if you don't want Israel to speak in the name of the Jews, and I don't, it's bad for us. It's bad for it's bad for all the Jews. It's bad for the Palestinians. It's bad for everybody, because it, it, so long as Israel is able to say it's the Jews that are fighting, they are in a much stronger position against the Palestinians. Correct. Yeah. So if we, but in, they in, won't. St- but 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 it's like it's like you're encouraging unilateral disarmament. Because we don't have time to re-educate people about the lack of connection between, in other words, we, right. we should chew gum and walk at the same time. Yeah, but you see, the problem is, remember what I said before, that this whole, the whole success of Zionism is that people don't have time to think about anything? Yeah. There's a, that's the problem. And, and your previous guest just said, we need a conversation, we need scholarship, we need all of this. If we don't have time for this, forget it. It's last 70 years, my lifetime, I've heard this all the time. There's Six Day War, there's Yom Kippur War, there's this war, there's that war. There's never any time to do anything, right? Okay. And, and, and therefore, but each time every Jew gets out there and says, Jews for peace, or in whatever text they use, that reinforces with Israeli propaganda uses that to reinforce the perception that the Jews are the combatants against the Palestinians and these Jews are like the Americans, like well, like Jane Fonda. These are the Jane Fondas yeah. of, of the Americans. We don't want that. We want to decouple it. So why can't we just say, look, Israel has nothing to do with the Jews. You want to speak, you want to be an ally of the Palestinian as an American, as Katie, go right ahead, fine. But, but to say, as Jews, what you're doing is you're reinforcing Zionism. And and therefore, we need to say, if somebody wants to be on the Palestinian side, let them be on the Palestinian side. If somebody wants to be on Israel right. side, let them be on Israel side. I hear what you're saying, but I have a question. How yeah. many Jews, I don't know, this is not a rhetorical question because I don't know the answer. What percentage of Jews live in Israel? About 50. So about 50%. Right. So, Okay. It depends who you consider a Jew. It's not so simple, but right. uh, let's say 50, about 50%. I mean, given that, don't you think we do have to do I get some heavy lifting, even this if it's to lifting. explain? But I'm saying we do have to do heavy lifting. We should be running around telling everybody that the Jews, this is this is identity theft. That's what it is. When okay, they say, right. They, right, okay, when the war's over, then you'll have time. Uh, identity theft. We Israel has nothing to do with the Jews. The Jews have nothing to do with Israel. I'm an American. I don't like when Jonathan Pollard goes around saying that Jews should spy for Israel. Let, the, let him say that the Israeli-Americans should spy for Israel. That's also wrong. But at least it's not, at least it's, yeah. it, it, it identifies who's really the combatants over here. So long as they have this smoke screen that it's the Jews, then you have the Holocaust, then you have 2,000 well, what about years of persecution. Jews, could Jews say we are going to speak out against people who weaponize the Holocaust to perpetuate more genocide? We could say that we, we, weaponizing the Holocaust is bad. I wrote a whole chapter about it. The whole idea of Fine, 100 percent. You could do whatever you want. You could speak about whatever you want. All I'm saying is that non-Jews could do the same thing. The Holocaust is not only the right, Jews don't own the Holocaust. We get called self-loathing as opposed to anti-Semitic, which is a little bit better. It, right. But all of this is not worth it because it encourages Zionism. The idea that the Jews look how Biden is talking. Look, how, it's the Jewish state, the Jewish. That's the problem. As uh, you cannot have a Jewish state and a democratic state both. Right. That's the problem. Correct. Fine. If you cannot say have a Jewish state and a democratic state. And if that is the core of the problem, and I believe it is. And I think you agree. If you agree, then the solution is to make sure that no, it's only a Jewish state because people say it is. If all the if the Jews in the world and the non-Jews in the world would all say, you know, they say that they're a Jewish state, that's like American manifest destiny. That's like the Aryan race. That's some the sun. It's like a sun theology. It's like some crazy theology. But so long as we say no, Jews have a responsibility to speak up about about what Israel does. I say we Jews have responsibility to speak up and say Israel has no standing to speak in the name of the Jews, even if they do something good. If and I say that if there was a two-state solution and everybody was happy, the Palestinians and Israelis were happy, Israel would still be the same Israel and I would be just as opposed to it because it still claims to be the nation state of the Jews. Jonathan Pollard would still say what he says. Zionism would still be Zionism. It's just that the Palestinians would be out of the picture. 
So somebody that would be happy with that doesn't really care about Zionism and Jewish state and those things that are really bad. That's just really an excuse to say, okay, stop killing Palestinians. Yeah, my anti-Zionism is mostly shaped by not wanting people to be ethnically cleansed in the name of it and the ethnic cleansing that went into it. Like if Jews founded a place and they wanted to have a theocratic thing and live somewhere and make their own country. As long as they don't claim they're my country. That's a right. different story. Yeah. Right. But, but if even if the Palestinians are, end up with 95% of the land they're happy, Israel still claims they're your country. That 5%. All right. That's, yeah. I would, but that would be, that would And be... that's the core of the problem. That's why there's a problem. Why doesn't Israel just annex the whole thing and make the Palestinians citizens? Well, they can't have a non Jewish majority. This is the entire crux right. of the matter. Is Israel a democracy or is Israel a Jewish state or the Jewish state? Now, the fact that there's no country in the world that acts like Israel in terms of their being the Jewish state, that they make us their citizens, they're using us as human shields. I don't know why that doesn't bother people. It should bother them very much. Aside from the idea of the thing going on with the Palestinians. And if we attack, I think, the crux of the matter to say, look, no, Israel, you're not the Jewish state. You need to act like a democracy that you claim you are rather than say, you know what? I don't like the genocide as a Jew. That's the as a Jew. Right. I'm speaking against the genocide. What that means is, okay, let's say I'm a Christian. I'm not Jewish. All right, let the Jews deal with this. Why should I have to speak up? No, it doesn't work that right. way. Well, because for better or for worse, people have been browbeaten into listening to a certain voice. And I deal the way that I deal with this conflict you're talking about is that what I don't want to do when I say as a Jew, ABC, as a Jew, XYZ, what I don't want to suggest is if you're not a Jew, you don't have a valid point of view. I don't want to suggest that if you're not a Jew, if you're a Palestinian saying this, you're an anti-Semite, but I or still am Christian. happy to serve a utilitarian role because I think, I hear what you're saying. There's a side effect of that utilitarian role. In the long term, you are strengthening inadvertently the ideology that's causing this whole problem. But it depends on which part of the ideology, right? Because for you, that Israel's it's a Jewish like state. The, worst, the worst part for you is the ideology that Israel's a Jewish state. The worst it's not part a question of the worst. That's the core of all the problems. We all agree on that. All I'm saying is if you want to stick up for the Palestinians, go right ahead. But why do you have to do it as a Jew? Do you admit that that probably works propagandistically, even if you're saying in the long run it's not worth it? Do you at least see that there is some immediate value to it? I think the same value that Jane Fonda had with the Vietnam War, which was marginal, and it depends who you ask, right? Star so, power. Exactly. They're all that's a star power, and you're a star too. So they, they okay. all, you know, they're in every war, there are people that are on both sides. I the think, question is, whose war is this? I whose think whose war is this? Moves. I under, I I totally get what you're saying, but I do think that like Craig McIver, who was mm -hmm. at, at the UN who resigned, he right. said how inspired he was by seeing what happened in Grand Central Station. Um, I I think here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I think that there are people who, if a non-Jew says something, they will, and I don't mean like cynical Zionists. I mean like people who don't understand that much maybe are really guided by fear are really brainwashed. They will take what a Jew says about Israel more seriously, or they'll consider it with a more open mind than they will a non-Jew because they, they not, not justifiably, but they th see everything as anti-Semitic. I agree with that. But, th and therefore if given a choice as a Jew to speak, you can either say, I don't like this particular thing that Israel's doing in my name, versus Israel's not a Jewish state altogether. The fact that they are speaking in the name of the Jews and doing things in the name of the Jews is wrong, period. Not this particular thing. The fact that they are doing anything in the name of the Jews, they have no business claiming to be the Jewish state, and therefore anything they do, whether they're committing genocide or, or charity in the name of the Jews, is wrong. It's just identity theft. You will be fulfilling your that, that uh that benefit people will have that you're Jew talking, but instead of just focusing on one thing and coming across like Jane Fonda, you can come across like you would if you somebody would tell you, well, why don't you join the Hebrew, the black Hebrews? You mm -hmm. would say black Hebrews, they're not me. What do you want from me? And, and the same, it would have the same effect sooner or later, but wouldn't encourage Zionism. We could accomplish the same thing 
and more. I, I think that, see, that's the question. If Israel would be happy and the Palestinians would be happy, would you still have a problem with Israel? I would. Forget about which is the worst problem for a second. Would there still be a problem? I think a lot of the uh, anti-Zionist activists aren't really anti-Zionists. They're just anti this particular thing Israel's doing. They're pro pa they're pro Palestinian human rights. They're pro Palestinian human rights, but that's not really anti Zionist. And if we're going to separate, because if you'd have Zionism without the Palestinian human rights issue, would you have a problem with that? So if you would not have a problem with that, if you have the state in the Middle East claiming to be the state of the Jews and the entire thing, just the Palestinians took over all of Egypt or all of Gaza and all of the West Bank, and they're all happy. Let's say they're happy, right? Every, the, the, the international community rebuilds all the hospitals and all the roads, and it looks like a scene out of the Jetsons. It looks like one big Dubai, all right? And they're happy, and Israel's happy. Everything's okay? No, not everything's okay. Because I still have a target on my back for whoever's going to be Israel's enemies, whoever it may be. Right. I'm still being dragged into it. Jonathan Pollard is still telling people I have dual loyalty. That's Zionism. Zionism is an ideology. Right. It's not just colonialism. It's right. an ideology at, that caused the colonialism. And because today, if there's a American Indian, America, a Native American out there, he could become an American citizen. He's as American as me but you still will never be Jewish. You'll never be a national of that country unless you're Jewish. That's Zionism. Right. That ideology has got to go in a peaceful way with no casualties or minimal casualties. That ideology, once that ideology is gone and Israel becomes a normal country like all other countries, that becomes the country of its citizens, not the country of the Jews, guess what? Everything falls into place. Right. That, that, if you're talking about scholarship and you're talking about uh, discussions, I think that needs to be the discussion. Is this, How do we get Israel to become what Japan is to the Japanese, France is to the French, Israel is to the Israelis? How do we move to one that? State? How do we get to one state? How do we, one state, what Israel yeah. is to the Israelis? How do we get there from Israel is to the Jews? But it's not just a question of one state to solve the Palestinian problem. If the Palestinians would say, I want two states. Right. right? Well, luckily or, it doesn't seem like they do. So I think we have- uh, Fine. Or let's say the Palestinians will be willing to say, we're willing to be Israeli citizens. We're converting to Judaism. How's that? All the Palestinians will say, okay, we're converting. I, I know it's a theoretical. I'm okay. just giving you a mind experiment. Yeah. Would everybody be okay with this? I would not be okay with this because Jonathan Pollard would still be saying what he's saying. And there would just be more Zionists out there, not less. Right. Zionism mm. is an ideology that's noxious for everybody in the world, including the Jews. And that's the core problem of everything that we're seeing over there. What kind of country says that they're, they're the state of other people? And if it's my country, then it's not the country of the Palestinians. It's two sides of the same coin. It's either the country of the Israelis or the country of the Jews. That is where our focus needs to be. If you want to have a discussion, that's where the scholarship needs to be. Zionism is an ideology. It's not just like settler colonialism, colonialism that uh, um, uh, England wanted to make an empire. When they freed the slaves, they had the same discussion. You can't free the slaves. It's danger to all the whites. Yeah. They're going to, you know what they did to the slaves? South they Africa went to Africa, too. kidnapped them, took them, put them in chains, yeah. and they made them into slaves. But you know what? If you, It worked. How did it work? How, where's the scholarship to figure out how Israel could become a normal country, a democracy like anything else? Where are the historical precedents for situations? I'm not a historian, but there are people who are. Where are the papers? Where are the studies about this? How in the world can this work? How? Where, give me historical precedents. Go to the Jews. There are plenty of Jews that would say one state would be great, but it's dangerous, security reasons, right? right? Okay. Where's the evidence that it would or wouldn't be a security problem? What if you go to the Palestinians and tell them, look, you know what? Gaza is not, Gaza's not going to be free. It's a question of one democratic state or nothing. What would, you, would you accept that or not? Yes or no? Where are the studies? Where are the surveys? Where's the effort? All the effort that's put in now to discussing one state, two state, red state, blue state, that's what I call it, should be put into discussing how to make Israel into a normal democracy.
like everything else. But, but I don't that, see that happening. Isn't, I thought that that is what most one state solution people want. Like, yes, but Miko where's want, Miko right. Pellet, who we no, both that's know. fine. Miko wants that. But my question is, where are the studies to show the to address the question? The only obstacle to that one state solution besides Zionism is the security issue. Right. The same thing that Thomas Jefferson said, don't uh, don't free all the slaves because of a security issue. Fine. I want to see historical precedents. I want to see surveys. South Africa. I want, South Af I want to see I want to see journals and, and uh, scholarship convincing people that, you know what, it would be a good idea. It's doable. Even if you have United Nations forces put a tank on every street corner. Uh, what my guest last week, you should be on with him. I should bring you both on together. He wrote a p piece at foreign policy called one the one two state is dead there will be a one state i think but yeah there are, there are a lot of scholars who do that but the the orthodox community is not a monolith right because there are orthodox jews who are zionists those are the modern orthodox um okay they're they're called modern orthodox but uh you won't find an israeli flag in any orthodox school except for the modern orthodox they call them they're like Zionist Jews. Someone in the in the in the chat asked, "Does Rabbi Shapiro's views on Zionism differ from Rabbi Yisrael David Weiss?" I'm not a hundred percent sure what Yusuf Rabbi Parta. right what Rabbi Yisrael David Weiss's views are, but I, as opposed to the Nature Carta, think that the Nature Carta, like the left wing Zionists, encourage Zionism. Because why would a guy with a beard and payas that has no interest in human rights issues anywhere in the world? Go say an American, if he's Israeli is one thing, an American, go say, no, uh, fly a Palestinian flag and say, okay, I'm an ally of the Palestinians. And why would the Palestinians want a Jew as opposed to as an Israeli? All I understand the answer to all these questions, but the side effect of all of this is Zionism. That's what it is, that these are the Jane Fonders. These are the Jane Fonders. And just like with Jane Fonda, they said, no, you want Americans to get killed. Remember the, the story yeah, with her right. with the tank? Yeah. Stupid of her to do it, but she didn't want anybody killed. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. It's the exact same thing happening with these people, these JVPs and the Nature characters. They're the Jane Fonders of this uh, conflict. And the same thing is happening. But the problem is, it's not a Jane Fonda because Jane Fonda was an American. Right. And it was American fighting in Vietnam. These people are Jews. They're telling people that there are the Jane Fondas, but they're not. They're giving people the wrong impression. Let Israelis, if they want to support the Palestinians, I want to see IVP, Israeli Voice for Peace, in America, even if there aren't enough. That's there telling. are some there, right? I Israelis in Israel. There are plenty of Israelis I'm gonna the have world. to. I'm going to have to become an Israeli just so I can be an effective anti-Zionist Jewish advocate for Palestinians. Then go ahead. You don't have to I'm be gonna Jewish. I'm going to have to make Aliyah. You don't have to be Jewish, but you are not the... And you said you weren't sure if Hamas is after Jews or Hamas is after Israelis. I think they're after Israelis. I just don't. Okay, there you I mean, go. no, actually, I know they're after Israelis because they said their problem isn't with Jews. It's with Israelis. The okay, Zionists. so there you go. There you go yeah. So if that's the case, why tell people that Hamas's problem is with Jews? In other words, okay, right. Hamas's problem with Israelis. I'm not saying that. I know that. But people are, are taking the allies of the Palestinians, the Jewish allies of the Palestinians, and using that to promote the idea that they are the Jane Fondas of this conflict. But they're not. They're not um, Palestinians and they're not Israelis. That's who the conflict is between. And that's what everybody needs to understand. Yeah. OK, but now now it's also it's with the help of the United States, obviously. So Israel if you're saying not, Americans, an American, Palestine, yeah. oh, there you go. As an American, that's another story. Then AVP, say American Voice for Peace. And there are plenty of Americans more than there are Jews. Why don't you see why don't people do that? AVP. But why is the J over there? Every time there's a J involved with I and P. Right? Yeah, but aren't you a little bit doing what you're saying you shouldn't do? Because Tell you're all because you're saying you're I'm focusing saying on Israel Zionism. Is China and they have no right to speak in my name. And I don't like Zionism because it claims no different than black Hebrews and no different than Christian supersessionism that they are right. the forces of the Jews, but they're not. I'm claiming they're a joke. What they say that they're my, they say they're my country, it's not true. It has nothing to do with me. It's China to me. Israel is to me like China. There are Jews in Ukraine. There are Jews in Israel. Uh, I don't fly a Ukrainian flag. I don't fly an Israeli flag. I don't fly a Palestinian flag. I don't fly a Russian flag. I'm a American. 
as American and the next guy, I fly American flags. If America has a fight with Afghanistan, if I'm on Afghanistan side, I'm going to protest against the war. But as an American, not as a Jew, it wouldn't make any sense. And I say we need to bring the public to a place where this makes as little sense that Jews should be flying Palestinian flags or Israeli flags as it would if they would be flying Afghani flags yeah. or American flags. I hear you with the Israeli flag, and I know you're going to disagree with me, but I still think that if for if you're a Jew who, and this is why it kind of goes back to what it means to be a Jew, I'm not religious, as you know. My Jewish identity, and maybe this is just a sub-genre of identity, like Woody Allen, right? Not that he's a moral authority right now, obviously, but in in what in Annie Hall, he meets that girl and he's like, oh, Central Park West, socialist summer camp. I don't remember what school. Very strike oriented family. So I am that stereotype. OK, but Katie, do you need to be in a, a Jew to be that stereotype? You could be an American and you could uh, you could uh, protest for social justice as an American. Mm, yeah. You can. The Americans fought against taxation without representations. These guys were Puritans. They're, you don't have to be a Jew for that. And if somebody does that, does that make them Jewish? Forget about your identity for a second. I'm saying that why do you need to use your identity as a Jew in order to promote those causes? I don't need to. And I certainly, when I was growing up, I never really did. I didn't even think of myself as very Jewish. And then other people are like, you're even so if Jewish. you are Jewish, let's say you're the most Jewish person in the world. But why does that Jewishness have to, it gets in the way of Israel, Palestine, because you're not Israeli, you're not Palestinian. As an American, as a human being, you can be on whatever side you believe justice is. But as a Jew, you don't add anything. Okay. And you retract and you subtract, I think. Ah, because from what? What's the equation that we're talking about? The equation is Israel is to the Jews what Japan is to the Japanese. No, I mean when you and, say you sub, you don't add but you subtract. What I'm what? saying the, the to the to the uh, elimination of Zionism from the face of the earth. I don't know because you don't think that having Jews be anti-Zionist helps create a world but, in which Zionism can be defeated but, more? But you're not anti-Zionist. You're anti-oppression uh, of the Palestinians. That's the point. Fine. You don't think that having Jews who are pro-Palestinian and critical of Israel makes it easier for Israel to become one state? I, I think, think it does. Israelis, Israelis would. One Jewish state, yes. But no, I don't mean Jewish state. Fine, I mean so one state. Has nothing, not with, has nothing to do with Palestinians. Then say Israel should become one state and not a Jewish state. If Israel would be at peace again, if the Palestinians would be happy, would you be doing this with the same, uh, forget the same gusto? Would you be doing this? I don't know. Exactly. So if you wouldn't be doing that, then the point is not one state. The point is stop the oppression of the Palestinians. Well, they go hand in hand. Maybe. What if there's a two-state solution? Theoretically, that's the question. In other words, if there's a two-state solution, Palestinians are happy, you'd be happy, even though Zionism would be very strong. Zionism would be very strong with one, in what in what case? Two-state solution. Palestinians get all of the Middle East, except 5% of the Negev Desert, which becomes Israel. That's Zionism. Same thing, just Israel smaller, and there's no Palestinians involved. Very impotent involved. Zionism. No, it has a strong army. It says it's the state of the Jews. Jonathan Pollard saying that Katie Halper is uh, loyal to Israel and is dual said a dual loyalty. Same thing's happening. Just one thing is different. Palestinians aren't uh, aren't unhappy. All right, I have to think about it more. Okay. Uh, I could keep talking, but do you have you have a I another have to podcast? Go. I have another yeah. podcast, right. and I'm late. They're going to kill yeah. me. Yeah. Thank you for this. Though we'll have to con continue this. Yes, uh, it was great being here, Katie. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please come back, though, because I will. have a lot more questions. Thanks. OK, that was great. Wow. Fascinating discussion. So much to think about. I didn't know it was going to go in the direction. I, I agree. And I also, you know, not to, you know, just blow smoke here, Katie, but um, I can't recall another instance on like your mainstream news where I've I can't recall a pundit ever being like, I need to think about this for right. a while yeah. and like. And I, I agree, like I, I, it's so much to take in that I can't speak 
absolutely on what I think and everything, but I just think that that speaks to how awesome the conversation was. Yeah. That it's something that I have to think about because a lot of the time I very quickly like know what I'm thinking and everything right. and yeah, really appreciated the and whole discussion. Yeah, and I also feel like I've been told by people, thank you for what you're doing. I don't mean this in the self uh, congratulating way. Sure. But I think I think it makes it easier for anti-Zionists who are not Jewish to be surrounded by to not be the to not have it so that the only anti-Zionists are not Jewish voices. I think it is right. a good buffer. Right. No, I, I agree. Like and I was thinking and again, I might evolve on this, but I was just thinking like in the short term here and now. Yes, I can see the utility in that. But long term, big picture. I also see what he's saying right. too. And that's something that, again, that's what I yeah. need to like think about to like square in my own head. But someone said, I do think it's dangerous to d disengage as Jewish allies. Your Palestinian comrades have vocalized their support in the wake of smear campaigns. I, I'm not going to, that's not, that's not what I'm thinking about. I guess to right. me, to me, it's clear that there, like I said, this is triage. Like the immediate goal is yeah. to stop the literal massacre of Palestinians. So I'll do whatever yeah. it takes. And I don't, I don't know if this makes sense. It was just a random thought that I had uh, written a few minutes ago, but I was thinking aloud, like maybe there's some utility in using your Jewishness in opposing what Israel is doing simply because uh, Israel and the powers that be are using Jewishness right. to justify or, you know, excuse everything that Israel is doing. Right. But then that's kind of like fighting fire with fire. And I don't know if that yeah. makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. But I do care more about Palestinians than I do. I mean, there is some self-interest in this, too, in that I don't want Israel when it commits heinous crimes. The sure. first level is I this is as a as a person and look i'm i'll be real when i say as a jew that's also propagandistic i'm i'm totally honest about that sure. i mean it's true my jewish um identity was very much founded on never again for anyone and right. i would argue that historically speaking part of the reason that there is a tradition of leftist internationalist secular jews is because of anti-Semitism and because of a diaspora tradition and because not having a state, ironically, mm. that lends itself to internationalism. But to me, the most important thing is if I were if I were Buddhist, I would say as a Buddhist, stop what Israel is doing. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I, I do feel like then after that level, and that's the first level, right, is the I don't want while Israel does heinous things that will increase anti-Semitism, I want the world to know that not all Jews, I don't right. want to be a moving target for right. anti-Zionists. So, yeah, all interesting things. I understand yeah. where he's coming from. But yeah. look, the truth is, I know that people appreciate it when Jews, because the more Jews criticize Israel, the harder it is to portray anti Right. Zionism as anti-Semitism right. and the easier we're making the lives of people who are out there right. and vulnerable. Again, and, like, yeah. in, again, in the short term, because, you know, just talking about like U.S. mainstream media, traditionally speaking, yeah. it seems like when people speak out like that, the go to reply would be, you know, you're an anti-Semite or blah, blah, right. blah. And then having someone who is Jewish doing that or leading that at least potentially hopefully makes that smear more difficult or not effective though still doesn't take away from me not seeing what he's saying in the larger picture right anyway yeah yeah i'm but i'm super glad that he said he would be coming back because yeah. yeah really yeah. interesting yeah finkelstein shapiro discussion would be interesting i mean i also disagree with him on what makes a jew hmm that's another thing, but I definitely enjoy talking to him.